Hello everyone, welcome to AKS IAS main section of free initiative. Today's question that is related to economy subject. So, question for 4th July 2024. This is Santosh Koka. Discuss the impact of the goods and services tax on India's economic growth. So, before writing an answer, we need to focus on three steps. Before writing answer, those are first one question reading. At least one minute we need to spend here for question reading. So, what is the what is the question? Discuss the impact of the goods and services on India's economic growth. What is the important topic here? Goods and services. And also, what is the important question tag here? Discuss. Discuss means we need to write positives, means significance. And also, we need to write negatives, means challenges. And also, we need to provide some suggested measures, right? So, next, what is what are the important keywords in the question? So, one is impact, impact of goods and services tax on India's economic growth, right? <clears throat> These two are the important keywords here. So, first we need to focus on question reading that is only for one minute. Next, we need to focus on second step, brainstorming. What is brainstorming? We need to recall our important ingredients, means important aspects to be written in the answer. So, here we need to recall all the information related to uh, examples or recent current affairs or recently uh, added examples or the uh, reports or indices, right? So, we need to focus on that. So, next we need to include or what is the important step? Present presenting the answer, right? We need to present the answer with including uh, certain graphs or flow charts or any other thing, right? So, uh, that uh, question reading for one minute and the brainstorming is for one minute and also presenting answer we can return uh, we can write the answer within six minutes total we can take eight minutes to complete the answer if we follow these three steps before writing the answer okay so very very important steps are there okay please be careful so let's see the approach for this question so first of all we need to write and decent introduction for this question discuss the impact of goods and services that is GST on India's economic growth. So, in introduction, we need to write in two to three lines, right? So, we can write recent developments. What are the important recent developments related to GST? So, that is recently, sixth anniversary was happened on July 1st. When it was enacted, July 1st, 2007, 17. So, uh, till now, that is 2024 July, it was included as, uh, sorry, uh, 2023 up to 23, it was happened like 6th, uh, 6th GST regime, right? India market 6th anniversary on July 1st, 2023, that is the important case here. Uh, uh, also, we can mention uh, uh, this July 2024. 2024 means we can include 7th anniversary, right? 7th anniversary. So, recently GST Council met in a meeting and announced some changes aimed at simplifying tax st structure and addressing some compliance issues, okay? All these re uh, related details are recent developments are required to write here in the introduction. Next, coming to body part, we need to first mention as per our question tag. What is the question tag? Here, discuss. We need to provide some significance or importance of the GST when it was implemented in on July 1st, 2007. India marked as a most significant tax reforms in India, that is GST. Uh, it's uh, al already, uh, we know some uh, related information. It subsumed multiple indirect taxes also, right? So, we need to provide some positive impacts here. As per our discuss keyword, we need to include positive sentences, right? So, we need to include positive sen sentences. The, those are simplification of tax structure. So, whenever you observe impact, impact in the keyword, as keyword in the question, uh, some uh, few students uh, used to write only positives or some 
uh, students used to write only negatives. That is wrong approach. We need to write both negative and positive aspects. Okay. Don't be confused regarding the impact keyword. Very, very dangerous keyword in the UPSC pattern or APPSC, TZPSC. Okay. So we need to mention both regarding the question tag. Right. Here, the question, what is the question tag? Discuss. That's why we need to write both impact impacts means positives and negatives. Here, what are the important positive impacts here? Simplification of simplification of tag structure. What is the sim simplification of stack structure? Structure. So after implementing GST, it is easy to uh, uh, structuring the uh, taxes right in the uh, particular states or uh, uh, central GST we have an integrated GST we have right. So the, those are the important uh, essence here. Here we need to focus on simplification and also second point increased revenue collection after GST implemented despite initial con some troubles GST revenue collection has shown a positive trend right uh, almost consistently it crossed 1 lakh crore mark in recent years and also formalization of the economy is the third impact third positive impact. Uh, it will uh, formalize the economy after GST has incentivized the businesses to formalize as input tax credit. That is the supplier is registered under GST. So if the supplier is uh, registered un under the GST, uh, a formalization or input tax credit can only be claimed. Right? This has led to a broader tax base and improved tax compliance also that is the important here so next boost to export competitiveness so uh, by eliminating multiple taxes and cascading effect regarding the taxes tax system gst has made indian goods more competitive in international markets that is also very very important here after that finally one more uh, positive impact is enhanced logistics and supply chain efficiency that is GST has led to the removal of interstate checkpoints, inter interstate checkpoints that is the major important point here and facilitated smoother movements of goods that is the important thing here. Next we need to focus on negative aspects. What are the important negative impact points here? Negative impacts of GST, one first one is initial implementation challenges. We have some initial troubles. Whenever we start a law, enacted a new act or new law or uh, policy or scheme, we will face some initial implementation challenges, right? We need to solve them. So here the initial phase of GST implementation uh, was marked by confusion and compliance challenges, especially for small businesses, right? So already we have seen so many issues regarding the uh, implementation process of GST. So next complex compliance requirements here despite efforts to simplify the GST compliance process remains complex still now still now uh, so so many people are looking GST as very complex issue right next revenue shortfalls for states especially here we need to focus on some states have faced revenue shortfalls under GST that is leading to concerns about compensation and fiscal federalism. That is the important thing here. Revenue shortfalls for states. Few states are facing this uh, important issue. That is the uh, uh, essence here. So all these are negative impacts, right? Negative impacts. We need to write both positives and negatives, right? Next measures needed. We have challenges, but we need to solve the uh, issues what we have, right? Those are the measures needed. We need to point out our important uh, importance of question tag is positives, negatives, and we need to give some solutions, right? First one is simplification of compliance. What is the simplica simplification? So we need to give or we need to simplify the procedure of GST, right? That is the important uh, uh, point here. We need to take the measure from government side. Next, the capacity building. We need to provide training and resources to especially SMEs, small, medium and enterprises, right? To help them understand and comply with, follow the GST requirements, right? Next, addressing technical issues. We have so many te uh, technical glitches or issues here. So, because we, we have goods and services tax network to address technical issues, 
uh, we need to follow GST network, right? Revising tax rates, one of the important uh, uh, feature or measure needed to be taken by the government is periodic review and rationalization of GST rates. That is the import importance here, revisiting tax rates. That is to reduce our uh, wh whatever high rates are there uh, to address these issues, we need to reduce the number of tax slabs. Number of tax slabs we need to reduce. Next, strengthening fiscal federalism. We need to strengthen our fiscal st uh, federalism. So, especially already we have in uh, this point in the challenges point of view, revenue shortfalls for states. For this, we need to rewrite the sentence or point. So, ensuring timely compensation to states for revenue shortfalls and maintaining a co cooperative approach, we need to G we need to proceed GST council. Already we have GST council, right? So, in the brainstorming itself, we need to include all these, whatever we have GST council and also GST uh, tribunal we have, right? Appellate tribunal also we have. Whenever we have some distrib uh, uh, dispute regarding the GST, uh, uh, GST distribution, GST tribunal will take care of the issues, right? That is the importance of this point. Next also, we have GSTN, GSTN, GST goods and services tax network also there. So all these important keywords should be there, right? In, in our answer. So finally, in the conclusion, we need to uh, connect our challenges or needed, needed measures with a simple target. What is the target? Sustainable economic growth to uh, improve or as the system may choose, it is expected to contribute to higher revenue taxes or collection greater formalization of economy. Uh, still, we have we are uh, continuing our economy as a mixed economy, right? We need to formalize our economy and enhance the global competitiveness in the business process, paving the way for sustainable economic growth. We need we need this very, very important keyword we need to include or we have to include sustainability in all cases, okay? So that is the important process here. So let's check today's answer by Niranjan. So rationalization, tax rationalization of Indian tax system government has enacted one of first constitutional amendment act 2016 that is termed as good services tax came into force 2017, very good. Uh, Herstville tax system versus GST, very good uh, included importance. Uh, we can take this as a significance part, right? So hidden taxes, multiple indirect taxes, all these value added point, very, very important, right? Very good. So impact of GST on growth of economy. Here uh, written some important or beautiful uh, points, promoted uh, transparency and also availability of loan that is important here. So also growth in indirect taxes, we have already seen in the points, some points also mentioned here, uh, uh, including some facts also, 22 lakh crores. So challenges, what are the challenges here? Network connectivity, remote areas, uh, internet connectivity was not there, slow progress of Bharat Net scheme. So and also reduce in tax base to state, manufacturing states such as Tamil Nadu, uh, Maharashtra, uh, has increased drop in tax base after GST enactment. Uh, this one included in the challenges, revenue shortfall in some states, right? So measures to be taken, uh, economy growth through GST, uh, that is include petroleum product. We need to include some products, right? Exemptions were there. We need to include them. So taxation top 1% industries. So tax achieving equity in the wealth. So taxation to 1% industries further can enhance spending on welfare schemes that is as per world inequality report uh, is very good. 1% people would 40% wealth of nation inequality report, right? Very, very good. So a report also added here. Some sort of reports or indices we need to include into our points because due to uh, we need to show our justification part, right? For transforming India by achieving its target, uh, target of 5 trillion economy by 2027 year, tax base is very important. So coupling of SDG and Vixit bar 2024, uh, 2047 can lead to developed economy. Very, very smart and good conclusion. We need to write these type of conclusions. Here, he included 5 trillion economy, whatever we have a target. 
right? Also included SDG, right? Also included recently initiated Vixit Bharat agenda that is developed Bharat 2024 by 2047. Very, very good. So good points included here, some examples and also states rainfall, uh, sorry, uh, revenue fall in some states that is Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. So also here one important missing point is there that is current affairs introduction. We need to follow those important steps. So already we have discussed in the previous classes, whenever you write or start writing introduction, first write related to the topic, first write CA introduction. Okay, in, we need to write here CA introduction, CA related GST, whatever we have. Already we have mentioned here, uh, this month is July, right? July 1st, already completed, right? That's why we can include 7th anniversary of GST, simple easy easy to write all these type of ca related uh, particular topics okay after then we can include this whenever uh, when it was implemented or through which act it was enacted okay this static information is also very very important here so so only this one important uh, case was missed that is introduction ca introduction uh, other details are very very good so challenges you have mentioned challenges and uh, you have included uh, uh, significance part right impact of gst but here we need to divide our question tag uh, what is the important uh, keyword here so please read the question important importance of impact we need to measure positives and negatives right the question itself mentioned the important keyword that is impact here we need to mention positive impact and also then in the replacing of, in the, in the place of challenges, we need to mention here negative impact, okay? No need to mention here negative uh, challenges. We need to mention neg negative impact, okay? That is the importance of answer writing. We need to follow some rules and regulation. All the successful rankers were uh, followed this. That's why they have get into uh, these uh, important civil servant jobs, okay? be careful on that we need to so many all the important all the aspirants know all the information but uh, the, some few students will put up on the all the information the, on the paper but few missed uh, apart from content we need to follow some basic structure right approach structure and flow overflow and continuity and connectivity points all our requirements are necessary to write a good answer here for this answer we can you can give 5 out of 10 marks. Very, very good. So keep writing all the very best. Okay. Uh, then we'll see main section of program question for 5th July 2024. That is day 7. Analyze the challenges and opportunities in the field of renewable energy in India. That is related to our subject science and technology. Uh, everyone should write answers and upload in the app provided in the description. Thank you very much. All the very best.